Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and in this video, we're going to talk about one one of one of the most hot topic in the market that is called React Native CLI versus Expo. In the last video, we have seen the roadmap of React Native and a lot of people ask me, "Bro, what is the difference between React Native CLI versus Expo?" Or like whenever you are building a project, people get confused or like create my project with CLI or Expo. So, we are going to clear you all the doubts in this video. So, let's get it started. first will you can if you see like this is a website of react native first of all and this is the uh, website of expo so we're going to talk about this all the things why like what what is the need of to born of the expo like in in history like if, if there is anything is born in the market so there would be a reason like why react bonds why angular bonds so there there was one history or there is one reason so we're, we're going to talk about all the that But let's talk about the sim uh, similarities. I will also provide this in the notes and you are so you can read that about this. So first, let's talk about the similarities. What is the similarities between React Native and CLI versus Expo? So both uses JavaScript or TypeScript, and you can switch between the each other. Let's suppose if we had build a project using the React Native CLI and wanted to switch into Expo, so you can switch into that as well. and vice versa like if you had to build a project with the expo and wanted to switch into the react native cli so you can switch okay same code react native framework so like react native uses react native cli and expo uses the under the hood react native okay so we're going to talk about this more details way like how does it use react native cli under the hood expo after that like they has a same feature like ri- ri- uh, library loading and the fast refresh support like both features are there in the cli as well as expo and also access to the react native apis like all the like text component or like view component platform component like all the apis has access to the expo as well okay so now if we talk, talk about now uh, like differences but before talking about the difference like let's talk about the react native so if you went to the react native website and we click on this is the website like learn once right anywhere and once we click on get it started once we click on get it started you can see that uh, people ask me like you can also use react native without the framework like react native allows developer to uh, you know build a apps with the framework like you know they are suggest they are telling that bro create your app with the expo you start a new project with react native project with expo initially we had a, like seen like you know both option like build with a like normal cli but they had removed that so people are usually ask does react react native cli has been deprecated it we can't use it so people has usually asked this question but no you can build your app with the cli but there is a reason like if you have like you can see that yes you can use react native framework framework however if you're building a new apps with react native with we recommend using a framework in short you will be able to spend time writing your app instead of writing an entire framework yourself it addition for your app it may it means if you are doing a certain task in react native cli it will took a lo- more time like you have to do a more configuration for that so if you see that like if you wanted to set up the routing so it will took the maybe a 10 minute like more time like you have to install the third party dependency but the with expo they have already predefined or they have a, like make the ball up it like that so it will less took a less time okay So now, if if you if you read more here, so they are telling that if you have unsuitable constraints, like they are telling that bro, you go go ahead with the framework. What does framework do basically? Framework like Expo framework is built on the top of React Native. So if I talk about like you know, you can see that Expo. Okay. Now if you click on read docs, read the docs, and if you see the like you know get up of this Expo. So let me show you the get up of this Expo. I let let's click on start and get up. So if we go on this package or JSON of the, this is a Expo library, and if I go into the package or JSON of this library, okay, so here you will see that Expo is what using what Expo using React Native under the hood, okay. So what does meaning like uh, Expo is built on the top of React Native to make the development seamless, okay. So what does happen in the market like when uh, CLI was built? and like people was building the apps and they feel like you know it's taking a lot of times can we come up with something like you know can we encapsulate some logic so it can save the times of the developers they can focus on the business logic instead of focusing on you know a manual configuration of the routing and navigations and so all other stuffs that's why expo come up in the pictures and now let's uh, and that's why like you know generally nowadays people are using and i'm also using this Uh, expo so let's see about like but uh, we will uh, but if but there is a catch 
if your app has a unusual constant they are not served well by framework or you prefer to solve this problems yourself you can make a react native app without a framework without a framework using android studio x code if you are interested in that part go with the this one get started without a framework so you can if you wanted to build uh, apps with cli they are telling that you can build your apps with a uh, like you know with a cli as well but they are recommending they are recomm- giving you recommendation to go ahead with the expo if your app doesn't have a unusual constraint unusual constraint means that if does, your app doesn't have a like you know raw of require of native module a custom native code like basically a written code written code on a kotlin or x code uh, basically a swift so if that is not required like if you're building on like normal apps which doesn't require a lot of native modules or custom native modules so you can go ahead with the expo but if you have if you have as requirements of lot of native modules or x the native modules so that point of time they are suggesting you go ahead with the cli and wanted to build that solve wanted to solve that problem at your yourself okay so that is the reason like you can go ahead with this uh, uh, framework of uh, go ahead with the cli but yeah so if i talk about the uh, similarity like they both uses javascript i had already mentioned now let's talk about the key differences of the react native cli versus expo sdk so if i talk about the setup and config like if you just started with the react native and you are having a like really a low ram you know like maybe a 2 gb ram 4 gb ram so it become uh, if you're doing with a cli you have to install the android studio and android studio can't be run in 2 gb ram so at that point of time if you want to do a mobile app development you can easily go ahead with the expo that will doesn't require a lot of and also the setup is like really straight forward so if i talk about the setup and configuration require manual setup and configuration okay but it's quite bit a time consuming and you have to install like uh jdk android studio ml emulator all the stuff but if you're going with the sdk expo it is setup and minimal config like it's a really straight forward and like you can connect your phone and you can see that all the changes in your phone with the help of expo go app all right so yeah like if you are like if you are a build, like if you just started learning the mobile app development so you can go ahead with the expo but later on you can also learn the react native cli okay now after that if i talk about the native code so full control over native modules and code so they are giving a full native controls like in the behalf of react native you can do anything whatever you want it to be but with the expo they provide limited native integration unless injecting okay so if you wanted to like access some uh, native modules maybe a uh, uh it could be any sensor or something like that which is out of the box so you you can't go ahead with the expo go so you have to you have to you know inject your app basically you have to pre build your app but you can also achieve that okay now to build the app so if you wanted to build app you can easily build your apps using the xcode or android studio for builds but for the expo you have to use the cloud build like you have to use eas okay so you can go to the expo something like that here and you have to do sign up or sign in whatever you do and once you do sign up you will see like you will have to publish you have to upload your app using the es login and there you will get that and on the there you can uh, build your apps after that development approach traditional custom approach uh, development approach simplified development with expo go so if i talk about the development like if you building an app with react and cli that will took a lot of time because uh you know you have to do a, like if you wanted to a setup of a uh, navigation that's like you have to install the, pa- the first package like navigation container like navigation react native navigation then stack navigation robot navigation like whatever the requirements is there but if you talk about the you know expo go they has a really like you know a folder based routing all the things but under who they are using the react native cli okay this is the thing like or after that if you talk about the cost so it's totally free Uh, you can build your apps totally free no cost is there but if you wanted to build your apps uh, with the expo so on the server like whenever you push your apps it may be building a one dot .aab file so that has a uh, some limitation okay after that why okay so let's talk about like you know we had seen that so if we talk about the expo now uh, expo is built on the top of react native so as i see as i saw you already like this uh, on the this expo web on this expo package as you can see that it's using the resolution of react native package okay but if i show you let's talk about the navigation so people you know 
that expo has a folder based routing right so that is called expo router so if i show you the expo router github so let's go to the expo router okay so let's click on this okay and uh, after that if you go on the package suggestion of this uh, router so you can see that on the dev dependency uh not this one okay so let me show you something else expo router let's go to the expo router sam uh not this one let's go to the expo router so under the hood they are also using the reactive navigations to make the things encapsulated to make the things really faster and quick okay now let's talk about like when to choose reactive cli or when to choose expo if you wanted to build a highly scalable app example like large production apps so you can go ahead with the reactive clis and if you need more control over native modules uh, custom camera bluetooth something like that so you can go ahead with this also using ci cd with fast lane bit rise if you wanted to use uh, ci cd ci cd pipeline with the so fast lane bit rise as your pipelines or circle ci so you can go with the cli no dependency or a expo expo system so whenever you know in the expo what is happening you can use the expo sdk and if you want if you can but there is no dependency you can build your apps independently kind of you don't have to rely on the expo ecosystem you have a high performance system for native builds so you can you have a so you can use your system for to building a native modules or native builds okay so when to choose expo if so if you wanted to build a medium scalable apps like maybe basically mbps prototypes or a small project so you can go with the uh, expo but still like if you wanted to build a like large application you can build with the expo and you have to you know do a pre build or expo uh, uh, expo uh, exact okay you don't need a money native modules uh, if you doesn't like if you doesn't require a like lot of complex native modules so you can go with the expo you can use the escli for builds like if you wanted to use or want faster development so you know in service based company most of the company prefer like you know very really faster developments so you can go ahead with the expo so if you are like working on a like you know service based company which is like focusing highly focusing on the building the apps quick quick and releasing on the production for the client so you can go with the expo and if you have a like you know low you know low space you in your pc so you can so you should go ahead with the expo so it doesn't require any a complex uh, system okay now uh, if we talk about the final thought so like no one is winning or losing like it's depend upon the use case so nowadays like you know nowadays expo is really powerful by the way expo is really powerful so whatever the things which you can achieve on the cli you can achieve that both on the expo so the things which you are not able to achieve we you can achieve with the by ejecting the ejecting the or like with the help of prebuilds command so whenever you run a prebuilds command what does it do it will create an android directory and the ios directory so yeah the final thought is that like it's no one is winning like if you wanted to make a development much more faster uh, and uh, you know so you can go ahead the expo they had a really good ecosystem which i feel and after that you can switch between them anytime projects so if if you had to build a project with the cli so you can switch from cli to expo if you wanted to be an expo to the cli that's totally up to you and ultimately both are react native so you know as you know that like expo is built on the top of react native so both are the uh, react native they say come they, so they are same the foundation okay so this is the things which we had talk about but as i mentioned that uh, why does expo come in the pictures right so you know let's talk about the like uh, one thing like if you want to do the navigations like you have to do a like lot of sets of like you have to go with the react native navigations let me show you react native navigations Okay, the first thing why expo come in the pictures like uh, that the thing is that you know if you're building an apps for android for android so what do you have to do you have to do a set of for android studio and uh, java and you should have a, like at least a good system so they were like you know some people has a like low memory or low system so they were not able to build apps so what they were thinking like can we build something more comp like something easier so it can it could uh, that people can use it okay so that's also one thing another thing is that like you know if you have to you know when you build apps so you have to write a lot of boilerplate code which is unnecessary and make the development a quite bit slower okay you you have to you can't focus on business logic because you have to do the 
uh, boilerplate writing code so they were like so, so they has think that and they think that can we make on the top can we build something on the top of react native so with the help of react native on the top they had build expo which makes the development much more faster and that's why if you see on the youtube or like on others platform most of the projects are building on expo so whatever you can build with the cli you can achieve with the expo that's the one point that's why you can see that like you can like react native allows developer who is not react native React Native allows developer who knows React to native apps. Okay. At the same time, the native developers can use React Native to gain parity between the native platform by writing the common feature bones. Okay. You can you also use React Native without a framework. However, we have found the most developer benefit from using the React Native slim, React Native framework like Expo. So you know, as Facebook is also telling that, or Meta is also telling that, bro, if you are if you are building an apps. So you should go ahead with the expo because most of the developers feel that it is saving their development time. Okay, expo provides features like file-based routing, high-quality universal libraries. So they are also a library. So if I show you libraries, so initially if you do like you know if you're building any if you need something any packages, so you have to you know you have to do the npm and you have to try that package that really works or not. But with the expo, there is uh, you know quite a bit of uh, libraries who will help you out. Who will help you out and make your development quite a bit faster so if i show you quickly like for the maps and you can see like they have maintained all the things like in the expo sdk they have maintained checkbox const contacts so you don't have to really worry like you can just use expo camera and make the things a quicker a simpler for you so initially like, you know what you have to do like that the, like you know for the contact that was open source library so you have you don't know like it's maintained or not maintained but with this help you can easily find that packages and you can use on your project so yeah if, if i summarize all the stuffs quickly so again no one is winning or losing it expo is built on the top of react and you realize to make the development much more faster and that's why framework is born so expo is a framework not a library which is built on the top of react native cli and another thing is that like expo has a like good ecosystem and make the development much more faster so you can easily go ahead with the expo okay so yeah i think that's all in this video guys so yeah in general uh, again if i summarize this so i think now now cap expo is as much as capable to build any kind of apps like any kind of maps means whatever you can build with the react native cli you can build the same apps with the expo okay but the catch is only that like expo uses the react native cli under the hood all right so yeah if you have any question like if it is if it doesn't understand that uh, we'll make another videos but yeah that's all in this video guys i will also provide this uh, link to the in the description box so you guys can check it out and let me know if you have any question or am i able to clear this doubt or not all right guys thank you bye